Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see a new problem in an array. So basically our aim is that we are given an array of 0, 1 and 2's and our aim is to sort it, right? So in the sorting manner like first 0 should be there, then 1, then 2's. So basically if it is this input 0, 1, 1, 0, so at the last it should be like this, right? First all 0 should be there, then all 1, then all 2's. So what can be the logic? So one way is that uh, that we have the three count three count variable count zero count one and count two. Then we'll iterate them and as soon as we'll hit that value we'll increase that. So like here first we'll hit the zero so we'll increase count zero by one. Then we'll increase the count one by one. Then here count one again increase. Then ag again increase count zero. So go till the end. So at the last we'll have the count zero value as three because there are three zeros then we'll have count one as three and count two also three. So we have all values now just put them accordingly first count zero then count first then count two right. So like this way this is this is an easy way. So uh, the complexity of this problem is big of n in this case but we are iterating two times first we are iterating to get the count of uh, the count of values and then we will again iterate them to put the values right and we will use the three variable so this is the thing now uh, can we reduce this to one iteration that's a uh, uh, is there any better way so yes so that we can do so what we will do uh, basically we will take the three variables low mid and high low mid and high so basically low will low will be always the next value the next index of zero so basically uh, i can say low would represent the index of zero one the mid will represent the index of one and high would represent the index of two right or or in in that case you can say low would always be here high would always be here and we would start from mid and we'll iterate the values through mid index right so what we'll do that whenever we'll find the value of zero so it means replace it with the low right so basically if it is here zero so it means replace with the low because low will always be at the low low will always be the index of the ne the last index of zero right now whenever there is a value of two then replace it with the high index right so in that way we can do it so so let me explain you by this example so basically we'll start from here so we'll say at, at the starting low and mid both are at 0 and high will be at the n minus 1 so n is 9 it means n minus 1 is 8 so now uh, we'll say that uh, because this a mid is 0 it means replace it with low because low is also 0 so in that case we won't swap the values because both are 0 so now we'll increase the low and mid both by 1. So now low will be 1 and mid will also be 1. Now here because our uh, value is 1 it means in that case just increase the mid. Right low would be at this position and increase the mid. So now mid will be at this position. Now again it has 1 so again increase the mid by 1 position. So now mid will be here. So now mid is 0 it means replace the value with low. So low, low is here it means this 1 will come here and 0 would come here and it will increase the both values. So you could see this 0 has come here and 1 is here now and our low our low is pointing to here now. So basically low will always be the last 0 the index of last 0 plus 1 right. So now low is pointing here so that whenever there is 0 we can replace it by this value right. So now uh, it has 2. So basically if it is 2 then replace it with the end index because end is always end is also 2 so we are not swapping the value so we'll we'll put the condition here and in that case we we decrease the high index so now here high was 8 so now decrease the index high by minus 1 so it means now high will be 7 now because this is 0 so if it is 0 then swap the value uh, then again swap the value with 2 so now 2 would come here and 0 would come here so now you could see 0 has come here and 2 has come here and low is uh, and mid is here again this 0 would check with the 0 would swap with 1 right 0 would swap with the low value so now 0 would come here and 1 would come here 
so now you could see that one is here and zero is here now this one is because now it is one so we'll increase the mid by one so now it will be here two so now if it is two so basically it will uh, it will replace with the value of one so one would come here and two would come here now this is one so we'll increase the mid by plus one so now in that case mid will be six so now our mid is six and our high is five so basically we have put a condition that whenever whenever mid is greater than high that in this in that case we we are covered all the cases so we need to go out of the loop all right so at the last you could see all the items have been sorted as per the zero one and two right so i would explain you uh, again this by code that how we are handling this in code so this is a function sort array with zero one and twos and where we are passing this array so uh, let me go here so like i explained i am i am initializing three variables low mid and high low and mid is starting at zero and high is pointing to a dot length minus one now i am putting a condition that while mid is less than or equals to high then go to this loop else don't go so now we are iterating through mid index and we are we have put three cases case zero case one and case two whenever there is a zero in that case in that case basically we need to swap the value right but we need to take care that if both mid and low values are zero in that case there is no point to swap the value right this is just the uh, to handle these cases let's say if you want to swap this value by this value right so there is no point because even if this zero would come here this will be zero so these are cases to handle these cases so if a dot low is not equal to a dot mid then only swap the value L and after swapping the value increase the both low and mid index right again mid index will will increase by one now if there is if there is value one so in that case we need not to swap any value will increase the mid by one right and will break now if if it is two in that case again the same condition that if if both value if both mid index and high index values are two then we need not to swap so this was basically to handle these cases if this two and this two both are same though we need not to swap and we'll just decrease the high index right like we were doing here we were just increase we were just decreasing the value of high index here right so this is how uh, this is a logic right very plain and simple concept and also let me uh, let me show you by using the debug that whether this is working fine or not so let me start it so once you go here uh, it will first value is zero so let me also put this in debug mode here and here we have these values right so basically it will go here so first it is zero so it will go here it will increase the low it will increase the mid break then next value is one so it will increase just the mid one next value is one again so it will increase the mid next value is zero so basically both are not both are different so it would swap the values and it will increase the uh, low and mid now next value is two but both values are two so it's won't swap and it, it will decrease the high again because two but it was different values so it would swap the values and here again it was zero so it basically it is checking now next value is two here so it would swap the values and the next value was one and at the last because our mid is greater than high so it right so guys that's it in that case uh, our complexity is big of n so why it is better than the previous one th that i explained when we are uh, when we had the three variables count 0 count 1 count 2 in that case we were iterating two times the array but here we are uh, we are iterating only one time right at a one time we are sorting the full array so that is why it is better approach and the complexity is same though big of n so that's it guys for this video if you have any doubts related to it please write in the comment section and if you have liked the video please subscribe the channel to get more such videos thank you